Governor Ron DeSantis was at the Jacksonville Airport today targeting the Biden administration's immigration policies. The governor says he wants to punish companies that facilitate or work with private contractors involved in moving undocumented individuals to Florida. Now this comes after the governor and the CEO of the Jacksonville Aviation Authority say that flights have been bringing undocumented individuals here to Jacksonville since June. Some of those flights in the middle of the night. Here's on your side's Kaylee Tracy with more. Officials here at JIA tell me 52 flights have landed here since June that have been operated by the Office of Refugee Resettlement. But there is an important distinction to make between refugees resettling and undocumented immigrants. They're bringing in these flights into Jacksonville in the wee hours of the morning, no advance notice to the state. Governor Ron DeSantis Friday proposing new legislation to clamp down on claims the Biden administration is bringing undocumented migrants to Florida. Then the feds would just put them on an airplane somewhere, put them on a bus. The governor, who is widely expected to be a contender for president in 2024, echoed former President Trump's statements saying undocumented immigrants are causing crime. DeSantis and Mayor Lenny Curry used the case of a man charged with murder in Jacksonville, stemming from an incident in October, as an example. ICE confirms the suspect was here illegally. If this tragic loss could have been prevented if our southern borders were more secure. We asked Jacksonville Sheriff Mike Williams about the scope of crime regarding undocumented individuals in Jacksonville. Here's how he responded. So it's hard to say, uh, you know, as it relates to this recent you know, influx of people, and it may not materialize for several weeks or months. You know, we really don't know. Um, but but it's the risk element is why we're talking about it today. JSO is part of a federal program that documents immigration status when someone is arrested. DeSantis proposed prohibiting any contractor involved in facilitating getting undocumented individuals to Florida from doing business here. It's important to understand who's coming and uh, why they're coming and how they're coming. Laura Cook from Lutheran Social Services, which helps refugees resettle, says it's important to differentiate between refugees and undocumented individuals. Refugees have been vetted, she says. They'll be able to apply for a green card after a year and be able to become a citizen after five years. JIA officials were not able to tell me any more information about who was on those flights, where they were coming from or where they were going or any more information about the flights the governor was talking about. I did file a public records request for more information. We'll be sure to keep you updated on air and online. I did also reach out to federal agencies regarding those flights the governor is talking about and I'm waiting to hear back. Reporting Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.